And if you've ever known anyone who has undergone heart bypass surgery, you understand how it can lead to weeks of recovery and pain. University Hospitals, however, says that they have the first surgeons in the state who can do the surgery, surgery minimally invasively using a robotic surgical tool. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us to explain, and she's got two stories today. The other is what those popular diet drugs have to do with alcohol use disorder. Monica? Yeah, University Hospital says it now has the only two heart surgeons in Ohio performing bypass surgery, surgery robotically. It uses the Da Vinci surgical robot, which has been in operating rooms for at least 20 years now. Surgeons can perform coronary artery bypass grafting, which improves blood flow to the heart by diverting blood around blocked or narrowed coronary arteries that can lead to heart attack. And traditionally, the procedure requires open heart surgery, which can take weeks to months of recovery. Now this is quite different. You get two incisions that are about, you know, a centimeter and then one incision that's about four to five centimeters and it, they're all in between the ribs. And so after surgery, this allows you, as soon as you're feeling better, like any kind of recovery after a normal surgery, you can go back to doing your regular activities. So you can drive right away. You can go back to work when you feel ready. You have no lifting restrictions. Now the procedure isn't for everyone. Talk to your cardiologist to see if you might be a candidate. Meanwhile, researchers at Case Western Reserve University continue to pour over electronic medical records in connection with the popular diabetes and weight loss drugs, Wigovi and Ozempic. The latest research finds that they're linked to a reduced incidence and recurrence of alcohol abuse or dependence. The findings published in the journal Nature Communications may suggest a possible new treatment for alcohol use disorder disorder that causes nearly 180,000 deaths in the U.S. each year. So far, the FDA has only approved three drugs to treat alcohol use disorder. Researchers looked at over 84,000 health records with obesity and found those who took semaglutide, which is the active ingredient in those drugs, showed up to a 56 percent decrease for alcohol use disorder in the year following. Previous studies were similar relating to cannabis use. However, Keep in mind, more research is needed, guys. Back to you. A lot more to come on this. Monica Robbins here in the studio. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, Mom.